to make feta, I mean watermelon and feta basil salad. So you're going to, my mom already cut them in strips so we could, um, so we could actually, um, cut them into cubes. Cut around the green so you can cut it in cubes. I'm already cut it in cubes. Mine accidentally broke, so you're just going to cut them into cubes. And you might need like three pieces depending how big you're going to make it. Now you are going to take a bowl. I'm going to move the knife. And you're going to put your cube that are in the that you already cut into the bowl so you can do the next line of the watermelon. You don't need to do all of the watermelon. You can do three pieces. It de it's depending on how big the bowl is or how much people you're feeding. When you have placed all of your cubes in, of watermelon into the bowl, you're going to take feta and sprinkle it into the bowl with the watermelon. And I've never tasted this dish, so it's going to be exciting for me to taste a new dish that I haven't tasted before. It's good in summer. It's, um, it's just really watery. It tastes really good. And my family also likes to eat the colors of the rainbow, so this is a good dish, too. Even though white's not in it, red is, too. So you're going to, the best thing, you, if you're going to pick, um, basil um pick the big ones because the little ones are starting to grow and you don't want to pick the ones because they won't be so good so we're just going to pick a few i don't have so much big ones but i'm just gonna look because i saw one and i think this one's big enough okay after you pick a few big pieces of basil. Um, you are going to roll them up, and what I want you to do, maybe do, um, you might want to put it like this instead of the green side facing, because if you do, there might be like a problem with it, but I'm not sure, because my mom says it's good. So you start with this side rolling up like this. Um, and you're going to take the basil that you cut into the bowl. Now you're going to mix it. And my dad is going to taste it. And feta is my dad's favorite cheese. Mmm. Does it taste good? Muy rico. Muy rico. And I am going to give an, a, a shout out to my newest cousin in Argentina, Fausti. I love you, Fausti. Hi guys, welcome back to Zoe's Kitchen. Today we are going to make watermelon limeade. You will need lemons, I mean limes, um, your simple, your simple syrup with sugar and water, um, you will need a cup and some watermelon. First, you will need to cut, um, a lime. The 
with this tape and knife. You can do it a different knife, but I can't be so sure. And you might need, if you're a little one, you might need your um, mom or dad or big sister or big brother to help you. Or your grandpa or grandma or your aunt and uncle. Now, um, you're going to take the one quarter cup and squeeze the lime right into there. Like a juice strainer. Take one, your water on and put it in the blender. And you need all of it in so it can make it really, really sweet. Not sweet, but like juicy and good. And now after you're doing that, you will need to blend it. Put your lid on really tight. Sometimes they go after you put Now what you can put liquefied mix um, or pure. I'm going to press the liquefied. Mm-hmm. 